Uh, thank you very much for meeting me here this afternoon on site. I would like to thank all of you for your cooperation and your professionalism in the last 20 hours and to bring everybody up to date on the status of the investigation. The night of the incident, because of the multiple alarms, Spokane Fire Department investigators were dispatched to the fire scene. In the early morning, it was determined after considering the magnitude of the fire and the large amount of damage to request assistance from the Spokane Police Department and ATF, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, to join us in a joint investigation of this fire. This is a normal procedure when we have a fire of a substantial magnitude and when there is a significant amount of monetary loss. As the lead agency, we have determined the fire to be suspicious in nature. Investigators from all of the agencies have been and will continue pursuing this investigation for some time to come. The scene investigation requires the systematic removal of a large amount of fire debris to recover the smallest amount of evidence. We have also had to take additional measures to guarantee our personnel's safety due to the remaining fuel in the fire scene area, as well as the many hazards that exist. We still expect numerous interviews to be held and within the coming days and countless hours of investigative work lies ahead. We'd ask that any individuals with information about this incident should contact the Spokane Fire Department, Fire Investigation Office. They can do that at 625-7052 or 625-7053.